Whoa, this is so exciting. I have wanted to create a YouTube channel for a really long time. I am a little bit of backstory about me. I am a licensed advanced esthetician. I have been working as an esthetician now for over a year. I've been interested in the beauty industry for over six years. I've always wanted to be an esthetician and I finally had that dream come true um, actually in 2020. On my current job, I work as a benefit brow girl at um, a benefit brow bar. I absolutely love my job. I have learned a lot of things for myself. I just wanted to share those things um, with you guys for people who are starting to create their career right out of school or are interested in becoming an esthetician. And then because I love educating people in general about skincare, I'm also going to be talking about skincare tips and tricks and things that I have learned as well. I'm literally minutes away from walking out the door to work for today and I have my oatmeal that I'm eating um, as my breakfast <laughs> as I'm making this video. Whatever. So let's jump into it. So today I want to talk about let me chew my food first. <laughs> okay, today I'm gonna talk about rebooking, why it's important, how to do it, and how to have a mindset and a confidence to be able to do it consistently. I, my first job I had, um, it was really my rebooking and making my clientele fully depended on me. I got most of my clients from my social media accounts. Where I was working didn't really allow me to have help in that area, so it really forced me to really develop those skills early on to be able to have a clientele at all. If I didn't develop that on my own, rebook them, I didn't have any clients and I therefore didn't have any work. It really taught me a lot of skills um, of rebooking and how important that is. I think the biggest thing to understand about rebooking is that if you don't rebook your clients consistently, you're not going to have a clientele. People that are not in this industry, people that are just living their lives, their facials, their brows, in my case brows, you know, um, it's not their top priority in life. And honestly, it shouldn't be. They've got kids, they've got families, they've got their own jobs, they've got things to worry about. So rebooking is not just a, hey, I need you to come back and see me. It's a, hey, if we're gonna achieve the results that you want to, it would be a good idea to go ahead and rebook your next one. Really the most important thing about rebooking is that you need to have it for yourself to be able to have a consistent clientele coming in to see you. It's really to benefit them as well. They want the results that they came in for initially. Um, you have the tips, you know how often they need to come in, what services they need to get um, to be able to achieve what they want to. So you're really helping them look their best by rebooking them and having that time frame kind of consistent for them. A big thing that I felt at the beginning of performing services and rebooking people is that I felt that I was inconveniencing them or being pushy or forceful or pressuring by asking them to rebook with me. If you feel awkward, they're gonna feel awkward. <laughs> if you feel confident, they're gonna feel confident. So something that I kind of had to get over a big hump at the beginning was honestly faking it till you make it. So like a conversation that I would have with a client at the end would be, I think it would be a really good idea for you to come back every six weeks. If you want to, we can go ahead and rebook you now um, since I've got my schedule out. If you come across feeling not confident, if you come across feeling awkward, they're gonna feel that way too. Another thing to really keep in mind is that you don't have to be perfect at services for someone to want to come back to you. The biggest factor of someone wanting to come back to you again is their experience with you. So how you make them feel in that moment, whether it's a 15 minute service or an hour long service, they are your priority and making them feel seen, making them feel interested in, making them feel beautiful, encouraged, empowered. If they feel those positive feelings when they are around you, they're gonna wanna come back. They're gonna wanna come back to you again because they just like you. Don't put pressure on yourself to be perfect on the service side. Obviously you want to achieve that standard of excellence. Tap into that empathy button of how they could be feeling at a certain point. Make them feel special when they're around you and I guarantee they're gonna wanna come back. So yeah, those are kind of my tips about rebooking. I hope that someone sees this and it's helpful to them. <laughs> if anyone watches this, thanks for watching. Um, <laughs> I'm really excited to keep going and yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon.